Ain't you leave? Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Adam Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Adam Fog exclusive. Fog Daddy, what's going on? Where are we off to? We are off to Warwick University track. It's uh, it's about, what is it? Just gone 5.30 uh, on Tuesday. Uh, Adam's heat in the British Champs is on Friday, so this is the last fast bit of work he's planning to do. And it's not gonna be overdone tonight. It's pretty warm. Uh, for, the, for England at this time of day, it's very warm. It's 26 degrees, woohoo, centigrade. Um, so the session this evening is not gonna be intensive. It's gonna be, as I understand it, five by 300 and some strides at the end, sort of four by 120-ish, I think. But don't hold me to that. I think it's gonna be a good little opportunity to get some more speed into the legs without overdoing it. Very warm evening, should be fun. How is it? Pretty good, I'd say. It's working. You're actually being filmed at the moment. Nice. We've uh, invested in a gimbal. Fog Daddy Senior is behind the lens right now, uh, testing it out for the first time. So hopefully, it's going to look like a movie. Uh, nice, smooth. Yeah, he's doing all the tricks right now. Nice and smooth footage. So normally I do my final workout before a race four days out, uh, but just because I raced last week and then did a bit of tempo stuff the day after the race and then had a, another speed workout and a long run and stuff like that um, over the weekend uh, with three days out right now. So a little bit closer to the race than I would usually do my final workout, but just gonna take it a little bit easier. Literally gonna do five by 300 with two minutes recovery um, and then Dad said four strides at the end. I might only do two, just like get the legs rolling. Um, but two to four by about 120, uh, just leg turnover. And then, yeah, it'll be race day on Friday in Manchester. 1500 heat. I uh, haven't seen the heat list yet, but um, British 1500 running right now is incredibly strong. So I know that I'm going to have a strong heat. Uh, I'm not in my best shape. I'd love to be in better shape, but uh, looking forward to giving it a real crack and I'm going to try and make that final. Um, yeah, final workout today, five by 300. Uh, two minutes between them so decent recovery don't want to be running anything too quick but just kind of solid uh, solid workout before race day in three days how far are you going Casey? do you want to lead the first one like yeah. what what are you going through in like 15 16 something 15 100. 14 through the 100 uh, yeah what do you want to do uh, 44 45 and 300.
Four down, one to go. Four down, one to go. Yeah, feeling all right, to be honest. 44, 44, 43, 43. So, um, one more. Got 20 seconds recovery left. And uh, yeah, one more 300, and we'll call it almost a day. I'll do a couple of strides and then be, be all done. So, going well so far. For God! Session was good today, uh, we're all finished up. 5x300, I went 44, 44, 43, 43, 43, um, and then I finished up with just 2 by 120 strides, just kind of getting the legs turning over. Um, I was actually really happy with how the 300s felt. It was only 2 minutes recovery, which is plenty of recovery, but at the same time, for kind of quick stuff, it's not heaps. I had my cousin, Piercy Clish, out there, Pierce Clisham, uh, for the first three of them. He ran three by 150. Uh, he was doing a few strides. He's racing tomorrow. Um, so he was doing his kind of pre-race strides, and it worked out pretty well. He kind of led me through for the first 150 of my first three by 300, um, and it felt really good running behind him. Uh, and then I was on my own for the last half of them, uh, and then the last two 300s, I was on my own for, for all of them. Um, but... Yeah, it, it felt really good. I was happy with how the 300s felt. Um, and then the strides at the end were just kind of leg turnover, just kind of um, get a little bit more speed in the legs, try and uh, get that back before racing in three days' time. Um, heading up to Manchester tomorrow, actually, two days out from the race. Going to get a couple of easy jogs in, a few strides on Thursday, the day before the race, and then Friday, three days from now, it'll be race time. So... Looking forward to it. Obviously, as I've said, I'm not in my best shape, but I feel like I'm getting better every day. I ran 3.48 last week, which is a long way from my best, but um, every day I'm on the on the mend uh, and I'm improving. So looking forward to getting back out on the track and racing, um, and I'm going to give it a real crack on Friday and hopefully do well enough to find myself in the final. But either way, it'll be a great experience.